Ahoy hoy and welcome to Dank Memes from Site19, where I go over only the dankest memes from the r slash dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Let's get started. Dr. Sumerian finally says that someone is right, everyone. He is the chosen one. He will bring balance. You know, one of the things about this movie that always bothered me... Okay, so... <laughs> we'll talk about the actual image that the meme is based around rather than the meme itself, because I've said people were right before. That's that's a thing that happens more commonly than... Anyway. Okay, so in the Star Wars universe, when he says this, and when the prophecy is brought up like as a concept, there are like thousands of Jedi and only two Sith. So in order to bring... <laughs> in order to bring the force into balance he would either need to be the cause of the rise of like a ton of sith or be the cause of the elimination of like a ton of jedi i don't i don't understand why no none of the jedi were like considerate of that as a possibility balance with the <laughs> Balance is not necessarily a net good when the light side of the force is winning. I mean, you know, maybe they, they, they think that that's a problem, but if the light side is way, way ahead, there's only a couple of ways to bring balance to the force, and neither of them are good for Jedi. <laughs> anyway. Author Avatar The Last Reality Bender. I, <laughs> I, um, I'm gonna be honest here, I don't recognize, uh, much avatar meme stuff so i don't really know what's going on here i think i've heard people mean before that my character looks like he's uh part of like what's the word uh some fire nation guy like i don't know avatar all that well but i think there's somebody with like scars on the side of his face anyway uh, <laughs> i still like it it's a nice poster Warning, classified material will be on this point. Unauthorized access will be monitored, located, and dealt with. This is your sole warning. As opposed to, welcome to the SCP Foundation. We are a community devoted to expanding and creating the SCP universe. If you are new, we recommend visiting the SCP Foundation official wiki in the links below, or just ask for help in this subreddit. And then a bunch of links. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting. Uh, there's a... <laughs> There's a tug of war going on on the wiki, uh, which is mostly uh, skewed in favor of the second approach here. Um, but there still is a bit of a tug of war because you want your articles to seem as realistic as possible, while at the same time you want people to understand that it's also fiction. <laughs> because you want your you want your internal consistency of the realism to make sense, but you. <laughs> But if you do too good of a job, people start going, wait, what if the SCP Foundation is real? And then become incredibly annoying. <laughs> uh, the balance. Me, serious and sad tales. Mm, joke tales. Wait. <laughs> is this the reference to the bottle cannon? I wonder if it's just a happy coincidence or if it's an actual reference to the bottle cannon. Which is mostly a bunch of joke tales. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Although the content of this is an interesting thing. Like, the SCP Wiki has all sorts of articles. Not just tales. There are funny at main listing, at main lester SCP articles. And then there are sad and serious SCP articles. So, you get a mixture of both. And I think, I think that's useful. Like, you could be reading a bunch of really, uh... <laughs> dark and uh, sad articles, and then you get a bit of a palate cleanser out of the uh, funny ones. The Church of the Broken Gun is just a bunch of scrubby neckbeards sitting around muttering stuff like, what if Jesus was a cuckoo clock? I would say 24, I would say 2017 called, but we both know that you already used your one phone call and nobody picked up. Let's be real here. Uh, these are the same character, right? I mean, the Sarkit and Mechanite Gods are the same god. What is a flesh monster if not a really very complex machine? Let's be real here. 3K contest. Horror theme to reflect it. Wiki's creepypasta roots. 3K contest. History theme to celebrate the massive lore the wiki has created. 5K contest. It's a mystery. You know, I don't even know that that was necessarily the re- The 4K contest. History theme in the 4K contest was a mess. It was a terrible thematic choice. The people running that contest, oh my god, I, I have so many opinions about that. It was just 
a terrible choice. Why would anyone decide on the SCP Wiki that you would choose history as your primary driving theme for a 4K contest, which is going to result in like a hunt, like, you know, 10% of your articles at a bare minimum are going to be about history? Really? I'm not saying I like history. I am personally a huge history nerd, but <laughs> it just, and, and, and I'm fine with history themed articles, but. <laughs> Creating a theme where 10% of an entire series is going to come out as history boggles the mind. It's not <laughs> history is not a genre normally associated with the SCP wiki. History is not a genre that lends itself to, you know, a lot of very just so many opinions, so many opinions. SCP-682 submerged in a vat of acid while the Foundation is in the other room setting up another termination attempt. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. You know what, let's try a 682 voice. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. No, no. It's a little, uh, it's a little bit weird. Bro. <clears throat> bro. <laughs> bro is your first word. I'm straight up not having a good time. Disgusting. Disgusting. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. Ooh, I like that. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I should take it, yeah. It does make. <laughs> I've actually been thinking about creating a game based around SCP-682. There's a lot, a lot of don't don't read too much into that. A lot of people think about making a game, so it's not like it, and it's as far as my thinking has gone. Uh, well, no, I have have I have some of it plotted out in my head and planned out in my head, but it's still in my head. So you know that you know how that goes. People people plan to make all sorts of things and then never never ever get it done. But yeah, I've been thinking about it, and it starts off with him submerged in a vat acid. That's a, that's a thing. Yep. Makes you wonder why he doesn't try to, you know, do something about it. <laughs> Maybe he knows something we don't. All right. The, the O5, D class or inmates, group of interest, undercover agents, and private military funding, Thaumiel, fictional creative writing project, multiple cannons, gate guardian, multiple universes, the factory, classification by ease of containment. SCP Foundation, Secure, Contain, Protect. Go a little deeper. Damarung, The Administrator. 231 Bedtime Story. Reality Bending is Thaumaturgy. <laughs> Three Portlands is the same type of alternate dimension as 4971. Tooth Fairy. 001 is Inoculus. 000. Pattern Screamers. Apollyon. Explained. Dr. Isabel Helga Anastasia Parvati Wondertainment the Fifth. Library of Alexandria. 3999 is 239. 05s are Immortal. And as we get a little deeper in our uh, in our conspiracies, Clef's goat daughter, Sheaf of Papers is the database, gathering of 100 spirits. O35 and the Jester, Artistic Middle Finger, Containment Breaches a Tail. <laughs> Monthly Termination Feeds the Factory, Chess Players for the Legalization. <laughs> Pangloss, the Feaster Bunny, Mimetic Formatting, Secret Laboratory is Canon, UIU behind MK Ultra, the Ouroboros Cycle. Uh, Mr. Light talks about 055. 407 is Yaldaboth's voice. Sword of the Believer, the White Queen, Daleport in a Temporal Loop, 4chan links, Hidden Text, 0513, <laughs> Unicorn Hair and Phoenix Feathers, uh, Sightwide Narrative Deterioration, and then we get even deeper. Multiple narratives. All 001 entries are real. Multiple apocalypses. The foundation is real. And the most important one of all, you're not real. What are we going to do? F, Carl. All my homies hate Carl. Uh, you know, if this is my lasting impression, on this, this is the one thing that I leave, I did that leaves a lasting impression on the site. I'm okay with it. Uh, the article about the seals that hate Carl. You know, that's actually the second article I've written second popular article I've even written where 
someone just irrationally hates somebody else. In this particular case, it's it's Seals hating Carl, but in uh in in the bridge that makes you hate Carthage, it's just about irrational hatred of Carthage. Carthage. It's like, what if you took hatred and focused it on something completely weird? Uh, and that's 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 what I do. Oh hey, three of my least favorite things and two of my favorite things, and one thing I don't have any opinion about. I'll let you guess which is which. Donald J. Trump. I think I forgot something. Pence, if you forgot, then it wasn't important. Donald J. Trump. Yeah, you're right. I'm not going to try and do a Trump impression. Powerful withered Ru wizard Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Tiffany Trump. <sighs> yeah. The 972 slot authors. Oh, man, I wish Series 1 slots would open up more often, because stuff gets deleted on a fairly regular well stuff would get deleted on a somewhat regular basis maybe every six months maybe every three months it's hard to tell um but the site is so obsessed with preserving their history when they could just you know preserve their history on a different platform and allow better articles to take the place of the crappier articles <laughs> but that's uh that's never gonna happen uh just just absolute insanity so instead, they just have, I believe when this was uh, created, it's it's now actually uh, been taken up. It's about an article, I think it's about a week old, maybe? And it's a plus 42, which is sort of mediocre, actually. But uh, maybe it'll do a little bit better. But the important part <laughs> is that there's like seven or eight failed drafts in that slot before someone finally managed to make it work. Uh, that's uh, modern SCP writers. Why won't you die? Bad Series 1 articles. Heritage Collection, son. <laughs> oh, I hate the Heritage Collection so much. And there's, and it's weird. It's one of those things that literally most of staff hates, too. And they just can't figure out a way to get rid of it that works. <laughs> nobody wants it. Well, that's not true. Not nobody. But almost no one wants the Heritage Collection to exist, and yet it still exists and has for years, even though for years no one's wanted it to exist. It's, it's, it, it, it puts front and center some of the worst articles on the site. Now, some of them are really good, some of them are mediocre, but it puts some very bad articles front and center on the site and goes, yeah, these, these are the impressive ones. These are the ones that you... <laughs> uh, for a site that is so dismissive... It's, it's weird, all right? So, you know, you've got authors and staff in general on the site that are so dismissive of new people on the wiki that like old articles, and yet all this infrastructure still remains to try and push old articles on these people, and then after they write an article like that, and it fails, and they go, I don't understand why, they go, Series 1 sucks, that's why. <laughs> Stop setting people up to fail. <laughs> It's not because Series 1 sucks, but I mean, that's what they'll say. It's really because uh, Series 1 had a particular style that is no longer in vogue. It's like, you know, uh, various types of genre go in and out of uh, fashion, both in the movies or in books and etc. Uh, and television as well, uh, you know. So sometimes the style of article for Series 1 is no longer really popular type. You can't create new, it's not, not that you can't, it's difficult to create new content with that type of article. <laughs> so when you push them and put them in front of people and be like, this is what we recall, this is what is historical and is the stuff that's good on this site and so on and so forth without giving any kind of historical context, people think that they should just replicate that and then they do and fail <laughs> and then everyone looks down their nose at them. <laughs> You're setting people up to fail and then being like, I can't believe you failed. How, how could you do this to yourself? Uh, anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then, if you'd really like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Lawful Evil at $40, Vivi at $100, and Dr. J Redacted at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I'll see you all again on Thursday.